Now for a floor. It's really nice. Uh, I'm just gonna make a small one. We're gonna decorate after this mission. A little bit. Uh, furniture. That should count also as a floor decoration. Uh, we only have a bookcase, really. Hard books, then, we have. I like the designs of the botanical uh, items. Oh, how big did it become? Holy shit! Um, that's huge. But we cannot do that. We're gonna need to. Maybe just keep it normal. Yes, please. Do you, do you have that uh, spell to teach me? I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. And move You them. can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Can I move them? Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Just aim your wand at any conjured item and perform the altering spell. Optimize it. Yeah, we can move. Available. That one can look really nice. Can we change even uh, the OBH wall with it? I like that. Uh, what about here? Okay, well, we need to change style and color. So what if we take that one? Size. I like that. And the color of an item.
I don't have that. Do I? Maybe I have something that is placed already. No, I don't think I have. Ready for something a little more advanced. And that you can is... use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try I'm... these new designs on the floor or balcony. Try um... the floor or at that balcony. It changed the yeah, it even changes the sound. Stone, I don't know. I do like that one. This looks really beautiful. Not sure about that. Uh, yes. Your space might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Deke, would you mind? Professor Weasley? Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience? Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Uh, well, let's see. A cool, moonlit ambience sounds perfect. Natural and earthy. Dark and mystery. Well, uh, let's try natural. Natural and earthy. I'd like the room to feel natural and earthy as though I'm outdoors. Oh, sounds perfect. Hmm, quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. Is there an exit? Damn, you just opened up a lot of space. An even bigger space. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spell crafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. Damn, we're getting really spoiled in this school. <laughs> I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Uh, let's see. Warm and cozy is what we had first. I would like the room to feel as if it's being lit by the moon. Oh, sounds perfect. 
But the other one was also perfect. Oh, that is nice. I like that. Let's go for this. Lovely. And um, let's get rid of it. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. It's a little bit dark though, but it just might do it. We can add some additional lightning, of course. Uh, okay, now back to this. So, um... Uh, how do we do this? It's a bit hard to see it from here. Maybe it's easy. Oh, wait. Oh, actually, it's, it's way hard now. Because... Um, now I don't see what the middle is. The tree is probably in the very middle. Then we're gonna have to uh, disable. Oh, we're working, okay, we need to hold it. Ah, uh, okay. So it cannot. Um... Alright. It ha is, is like has its own pattern then. In that case, we're gonna need to um... compromise a little bit here. Let's say, uh, I can't push it even further up now. What if we do like this then? No. I think it's better if we try just to push these together again.
jets. It doesn't snap when we are um, in the middle of the room. That might be in the middle of the room. Yeah, that is. Now I think it is snapping to that one. That might be in the middle. Well, even if it isn't, it's very close. Now to fix this. So, um, at least we're snapping each other like that, so that's good. What if you place it like... Like that. Almost. That is um, inside the circle. And that is it's just inside. It's just like an inch or something that is different. I wonder if we can get that inch down. If so, we're gonna need to move this one out. And, um... I think that is too... too far in. Yeah, it's a little bit too, um, a little bit too far in. That's even more. It doesn't have that we are lifting it, so... Lumos. I think that's pretty damn close. Yeah, I will approve of that. I cannot squeeze them together. So, but I believe if there will be any mods, it will probably be for stuff like this. So, um, now we have that sorted out. Now we need to fix the... <laughs> the pots and um, large that's one see how we can uh, bind this no 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 Still. Oh no, don't tell me it doesn't work.
I'm not sure we can have it like that. Or is it better to have it like that? We can fit a few like this. Um, let's add that one. I don't even know how many I will want. Oh, we're gonna like that. But then we cannot get... Yeah, we cannot get across. They are fairly big as well, really. Can add them like that too. I would say this side is the correct side. And then this side must be in the wrong. Sides. We could really do with getting past in the middle, really. Or... Uh, how far can we move this out? From here, can we... Will that be in the way? I uh, wouldn't say it will be. It looks kind of okay. The potions goes faster. I mean, planting. The first one we planted took 10 minutes. Uh, it doesn't really say how far. Uh, how far. How much did we go on this one then? All the way? No. That is all the way. And that's not even in the middle anymore now. And that's a floor. That's still a floor. That's in the middle. I think it's better if this is like placed... Oh wait, wait. I think I have another design in my mind right now. Why not like that? I mean, that could work. And then if you place... Yeah, both of them... Hmm... Can I use this on him so he just disappear? 
No. I cannot do that. For some reason we cannot go any further. Is, is it because that's like his space or why does it take up so much space? Can't he just stand on uh, the table? If you want to minimize running around and everything. These need to be next to each other and these need to be next to each other. Now we're just going to open up a little bit. That's in the middle. But these don't really need to be in the middle, actually, do they? But if we... I can fit more than this. Hmm. Okay, but what if we... Yeah, we should try with the uh, one first. But if so, they will be. They will. Yeah, they will be bigger, wider than this. So um, we need to move these a little bit more if we want to be able to get past. So let's try that. We're gonna do the same here.
60. We can have seven in total. I'm using the tap there in the in the middle on the potion table. So I align with the border of um, the potting table. Uh, there. Is that the right one though? No, that's the right. Damn, that didn't work. I'm gonna need one more. Well, it's not perfect, but I think it will do. This is open up the space a little bit. So it's not... Uh, it doesn't look uh, like cluttered or anything. It's pretty good. And now for... Um, some other things. What do we have? We still have some stuff here, right? We don't have this. Random, yeah, we don't even have that. But we still have... We don't have enough. What about here? Uh, this will create compost. I wish we could have it here, but no. wasn't wrong we had over a hundred of all of this but everything I don't know if there was anything else we placed 
rugs. Well, that's fairly cheap. No utility. Well, there is a desk over there. Wall hangings, furniture, decorations, room, requirement artwork. Okay, that's a lot of stuff we've been unlocking. Seasonal decoration, nothing. Furniture, uh, not really. These are new. We don't need. Or something. The shopping station. We should try to get that one. 20, but uh, I th think we need some light. Let's see, does it work as a light source, however? I don't think it did. Yeah, I don't think they do actually. Now when I see it. Uh, I'm not sure. But they do. I don't know. That's what I was talking about. See, we have more stuff here. I wonder if we have enough now. Tables. I think we need 30. No, we are fine. Okay. Uh, where are we gonna have this one then? I can probably fit two like that. Can yeah, fit this one next here for now? We can.
Okay. Alright, is there anything else we can make? I don't think we have any more Moonstone. No, but well, we, we have three, so... I don't know. Some lights. Chess. Not anything comfortable, really. Okay, we're all out. Now we can um, continue. I'm uh, pleased with this for now. So we need to make a focus and Maxima and uh, Edorus. Actually, didn't work with our original design, but whatever. Uh, Mellow Sweet. This one, don't know how many we need though. Says claim that potion. Oh, 
Okay. Uh, nice. Now we need to um, use the focus potion, use the Maxima and the Edrus. And we need to use them simultaneously. So, uh, Maxima and Edrus first. Yeah, but that will not work, will it? Because we still need to use the focus one, right? Yeah, we do. Excellent. Perfect. Lumos. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Uh, let's see here. Dark and mysterious. I'd like the room to feel mysterious and eerie. As if I'm in the forbidden forest, surrounded by shadows. Oh, sounds perfect. No. I'd like to ask you about changing the room. Of course. I'd like. Well, we no doubt see. Him. Hey, what happened to um? What happened to one of my planters? There we go. Well, I gotta admit, I don't know what the large planters are for. Uh, the small one we have in the greenhouse will give us five. As far as I know. Six with fertilizer. This one gives us five. So I don't know. Maybe we can harvest it more uh, or something. Uh, uh, we will see in uh, six minutes so what else do we have here oh, how lovely some stuff we can get. Alright. Oh, 
Well, that's nice. I don't think there's anything else we need to do here. at least harvest before we leave that one feels kind of useless only one for 10 minutes or nine minutes it feels like you're gonna need a lot of fertilizers here in order to make that worth your while and uh, what's this So there's nothing else we can do here. I mean, there's a lot of space we can uh, decorate and change. I'm not sure we can get up there, can we? Okay, one minute, two minutes, two and a half, we need to wait. Uh, can we even get another fertilizer in? Herbology, what does these do by the way? Uh, we'll periodically brew a random potion. Uh, you can only have three, but maybe. I mean, quick pickup maybe. So how many fertilizers can we have? Only three. Uh, let's see if we can get uh, 20 together, 12 more.
Oh, well, that's nice. Uh, are these done? Twenty-two will last for some time. Yeah, I am starting to have uh, second thoughts. How much money do we have left? Hmm, I don't think we have enough. We need two and a half, right? What if we buy the one with five? Uh, plots. If they also give five, I mean, then we get 25 per harvest. But I don't know. We will uh, look into that. And then now I want to see the fertilizer is only a one time use, right? This is not fertilized anymore, is it? It isn't. And uh, let's see here. I don't think I will need these now. I want to empty that one, and I want to empty this one. Let's go for that. And that one. And that one. And that one. And then... Why isn't it perfect? There we go. Oh no.
I think I need to start on this side. I know this is the middle. So, um, something like that, maybe. of all the potions you've brewed. There's 18 And now we're out of juice a bit of a glitch well this will be the last patch I think it's fast to just claim them like this than uh, doing what I oh we are, it's full. Wait, what did you say? Your two wheel slots are full. that then I mean is it full is it full you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed uh, we still have some uh, herbs so we don't need to grab these right away but yeah this is good now we finally have this going so that's gonna be a lot more effective let's leave
Will that disappear? Yeah, it will disappear when we walk away. That's nice. Okay. Um. Uh, let's see. Um. We need a fast travel. How are your assignments coming along? Uh, well, they, they are done. We are done with it. I completed your assignments, Professor. Good. You should be ready to learn to Pulso. Let's see what you can do. Concentrate. Do not let your mind wander. You've got it now. If you'd like to practice, and I think you should, perhaps best not to go flinging your classmates about the halls. I suggest having a go at the enchanted books here. Okay. That is more for exploring. But yeah, it's you're gonna need to still swap between all of these. I'm glad to see that you seem staunchly determined to master your spellcasting. Still at it, I see. Well, repetition can be an excellent teacher. Levioso, Capulso! Levioso, Capulso! Accio! Okay, that's nice. Uh, we're done here. Uh, next one. Follow the butterflies in the Forbidden Forest. Still need three here, but like I said, I only know where one of them is. I'm not sure without the two. But if I have to make a guess, one of them must be in the hospital wing. The last one, no idea. Demanding delivery. Uh, Cambridge. Well, actually, we can do uh, that one. Let's go for the main mission. What are you up to now?
That's the wrong way. I need to go this way. Classroom to learn Defindo, the severing charm. It's typically used to cut an object, but can be a powerful weapon when needed. All right. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me. And that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. This way. All right, show me. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. I was wondering where this place was. Is he just going to stand out there? How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. We used to play gobstones here all the time. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. Revelio. So you don't mind if I take some of this? I think I've seen ominous in potions. Or was it Herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it, and I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets, but this place is special to him. Understood. But why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide them, as he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway. The Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. 
A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic, but you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. All right, fair enough. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Stick to the targets, uh, yeah. though. But best to keep the under. Yeah, but we first need to change. Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses. But I think you'll find that a Confringo cast travels a bit farther than that of a spell like Incendio. Confringo! Nice work. How's it feel? That's it! I think I've got it. Well done. That was nice. It's a long range on it. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. I've been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. I haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do. Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Me, Tan. She could use some cheering up. Uh, um, is that where we need to go? I can't remember. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. Might it have something to do with Victor Rookwood? He didn't mistake you for someone else at all in Hogsmeade, did he? Nothing gets past you. I'll tell you what I can. 